It is uh, October 12th. It's around 3 p.m. I have joined the Amazon Thursday night football team uh, sort of as a food correspondent. So I've done a couple games. My big responsibility is to come up with a sandwich for Black Friday. This is the first time the NFL has granted anybody a game to be played the day after Thanksgiving. And if you celebrate Thanksgiving, there's always two games. It's always the Lions and the Cowboys playing, you know, somebody on Thanksgiving Day. It's the first time ever we've had a Black Friday game. And really inspired by the late great John Madden, who uh, would commentate on Thursday games, the MVP of the game he was broadcasting would get the Madden turkey. And it would be this monstrosity with like 18 chicken legs. And it was so fun and cool when I was a young kid watching this. Players wanted to win so they could have that turkey leg on national TV and you know, sort of celebrate this game, right? This Thanksgiving Day game. This is the first time we've ever had a day after Thanksgiving. So I can't have a turkey. We will have a turkey for sure as backdrop, but we have to make a new tradition. And it's gonna be the Black Friday the Amazon Black Friday leftover turkey sandwich. And I'm sweating bullets a little bit about how this is gonna work out because I need to have a sandwich that has the mass and density and heft so it looks like something on TV that would be awesome because it can't be just like small and like, could I put, maybe I put it on a giant hero hoagie roll like this that's still a possibility. But I might, I might go for a wedge, and I believe that's a Pennsylvania or New York style sandwich. Uh, it's similar to maybe the, the New Orleans style muffalata sandwich, if you've had that. So it's more of a, a giant dense pie of stuff. And that's what I want to do. And I don't really have turkeys, because you can't buy turkeys in October yet. So all I could buy were some wings and things, and uh, I have the, re I wrote this down. So I want bread, next layer of potato puree or potato roasty, then I want dark meat, turkey, then I want cranberry sauce, I have set in agar, then I have a layer of stuffing, then I have some kind of greens or Swiss chard, then I have a layer of sweet potato pumpkin puree, then I have a layer of cheese, then I have a layer of, I don't even know what I put down, uh, gravy mayo, um, and then finish off with another layer of bread. I'm now going to attempt to make this sandwich as many times as I need to to perfect it, because it's. I know I can make it taste good, but it's got to be. That, it's got to have the visual elements. So that's what I'm working through. Um, I, I roasted off two turkey wings. So I think what I'm going to do. I want to save the skin because I want to roast that. So I'm, I'm doing this for the gravy. Add garlic. I was just making stuffing earlier and I forgot to add parsley. That's a disaster by my end. So we'll figure out a way to put that in. So I just put some thyme and some parsley ends. What I'm envisioning for this sandwich too is I'm gonna be able to have the whole layer of skin from a turkey and I wanna sheet that out and turn that into almost like a crispy chicharron and have that as a crispy element in the sandwich. So all of this is the drippings from the turkey. So what I'm going to do is re reheat the dark meat in the gravy. And I'll 
crisp that up. Probably need to make some cranberry sauce. Usually it's made with sugar and oranges. I don't have any oranges. I've never even done it, this before. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see what happens. A little water. It needs orange, orange zest, but again, I'm not looking for perfection right now. This is like a, like a sketch model, basically before we stamp the real thing. So if you're looking at this and you're like, what the fuck are you doing? It's like, exactly, I don't fucking know. I really don't know myself, which is why we're attempting this. Some milk. So I did like a tablespoon of flour, a tablespoon of um, butter. I don't know, half a cup of milk. I cooked that, the, I basically made a roux and I'm gonna cook that, I cooked that for two minutes, broke it down. Don't worry if it's clumpy, it's gonna smooth out. I'm gonna add a little bouillon. So now I'm gonna try to make all my potatoes. I'm gonna use the microwave in the back. I really only need one potato, I need one potato. When I make this the next time, I, I plan on probably making this sandwich at least a dozen times before Black Friday. And each time I'm gonna take notes and each time I'm gonna whittle this down and uh, make it better. And it's a note, I'm not gonna buy Japanese sweet potatoes. I'm gonna make sure that they're yams because I'm looking for the color. I don't care about the taste so much, but I really want the color to be right. But it's okay, I'm not worried right now because they're just for flavor. I just wanna know that the constellation that I'm going for is correct. I'm gonna put this for seven minutes in the back. All right, let's check this out. I microwave this full power for 10 minutes. No, two and a half minutes so far. Like, that's pretty cool, gotta say. That's pretty fucking cool. It's pretty good. I'm gonna cook this down without the, uh, with the lid probably to reduce it down some more, but it's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Sweet potato's working. And if I had a pumpkin pie mix, I'd probably just add that in. Um, turkey breast. I don't have, but I have chicken breast. I'm gonna go get that. I mean, this is the biggest chicken breast I've ever seen in my life. Jesus. I'm always washing my hands, always. Uh, and again, the main reason I, I don't use the wood, not that I don't sometimes, I just don't want cross-contamination. <sighs> Believe it or not, this is exactly what I want.
Whoa, that'll be fine. It'll be fine. I got a lot going on right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I like it, I like it, I like it. So there's a lot of pectin in cranberry sauce. And gotta say, it's at, and once it starts to cool down, it'll thicken up as well. But this is pretty much the desired consistency. I'm gonna switch this out with the sweet potatoes back there. These are the sweet potatoes. I microwave one potato for eight minutes. And I guess one way I could, if I had like honestly canned pumpkin pie puree, I'd be folding this in right now. Just to get that flavor. I hate pumpkin pie. I hate that seasoning, but I feel like it's not what I want. It's what America wants. I love America. I got stuffing. Next time I'm gonna add parsley to that for sure. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I would be using a microwave set, but I'm out of microwave space. So All right, gravy's good to go. And no, I'm not scraping the bottom. I'm not even touching the bottom. I'm just... You get those potatoes. Salt. And we're off.
Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Let's just put out the layers here in reverse order. Potato puree, dark meat turkey, cranberry sauce, stuffing, oh yeah, that's, that's fucking awesome, Swiss chard. Green, Ooh. turkey breast, chicken breast for today, sweet potato, got cheese, some Monterey Jack, mayo, bread. All right, I'm hoping that the bobbly works. That is what I'm hoping for. I also have crispy. Turkey skin. I basically made a Thanksgiving spread in 30 minutes though, right? It's pretty good. Ah, ah, it's failing me because it's cracking. No. Me, dude. That is not good. Mm, that was good. So I put a layer of potato puree, and I wanted that to be dense. Because I, I want see, I'm accounting for seepage. Dark meat, I want to reheat in gravy. Even though it wasn't gravy, I have gravy there, but I'm also not going to make this in 30 minutes. This clearly won't be smoking hot, the stuffing. I'm thinking that I'm going to have it all shaped out exactly into a full. I would be putting this all on one sheet, but we only have one piece of this bread. Oh man, that is good. What I'm thinking about is I want to maybe cook this again so it's almost like a club sandwich with a middle layer of bread giving it some stability. <clears throat> I just don't know about the stability of this thing. Structural integrity, it's gonna be tough. Real tough. Sweet potato. Oh, gravy. Oh, fuck. there's a lot of things. <laughs> the chicken breast that is acting as a turkey. I don't know what to think. Into the oven goes. I think this has been cooking, what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Test case. 1.0, October 12th, 
4 p.m. We'll see if we uh, created life. I mean, I got a, what is that, 12 layers? My concern really is like, how does one hold such a thing? So now I got to slice into this sucker. If we can't get it on a plate, I don't think this is going to work. We're not there yet. Well, I think I might have to plate that again. But that, that's sort of awesome. Look at the side cut. There it is. Version 1.0, test subject, the turkey sandwich, leftover. So hot. But it's good. We gotta work on uh, stability here. I think I might have to make it a little bit smaller, let's be honest. Certainly tastes good. Structural integrity, we need to work on it. It's clearly gonna be easier when it's colder. I think I gotta do smaller layers. Um, it's gotta probably be two inches shorter. I'll probably have toothpicks, something to, to give it structure. Um, I might hire an industrial engineer or so, architect. To help me structure this thing. But I feel like it's a good start. I think it's a real good start. I mean, think it's a real Thanksgiving sandwich. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel. What do they say? Smash that subscribe button. That's it. That's what they say.